What's up guys and welcome back to My Summer Car. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like in the video and subscribe if you haven't already. It would be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we ordered a bunch of new parts for the Satsuma. We also started to get it switched over from Rally Mode back to Suski Mode so that we can hopefully take her out on a date very, very soon. While we wait for the parts to be delivered though, we're actually gonna head into town to see if the drunk man will finally buy our Kiyu. During the last trip that we made out here, we discovered that our best friend threw a pretty substantial party and then forgot to invite us. And he's still missing? Dude is still MIA? I just kind of figured like, you know, maybe, maybe our invite got lost in the mail or something like that. I, I certainly wasn't going to hold it against him, but now he's just gone completely. We'll have a quick rummage around his place, see if we can't locate him no he is gone dude all right we need to start a search party drunk man is missing if we're not going to be able to make a quick buck selling some keel you to him i guess we're going to make our way over to the waste treatment facility and we'll just do a little bit of that today and while i am still a little upset that our best friend just forgot to invite us to his little shindig i hope he's okay you know he looked he looked pretty rough when we stopped in and saw him in his bathroom, so I, I just hope that everything's going okay for him, you know? He's not, like, in the hospital or something bad. I think we still have, like, three more houses with septic tanks that we need to empty, so I don't think we're going to be getting very far with a full poop truck. Let's actually head back to the waste treatment facility now that she's all warmed up, and uh, we'll just dump whatever we have in here. Hey! Good to see you again, friend. Just let me know the damage and I'll skedaddle. We can just scoot on out of here. There it is. $687. Okay, bud, bud, I don't, I literally could not care less about what you have to say right now, okay? I'm, I'm in a bit of a hurry. If you could just, if you could just open up that door so we could... This guy, dude, this guy. I've already, finally, finally, finally. It's not that I don't like the guy. Like that that's honestly not it at all. I just, like I said, we got places to be, we got stuff to do. Poop truck seems to be pulling really hard to the right for some reason. I'm kind of just thinking it's because we have the rear lift axle engaged at the moment. And there's just no weight in the tanker. So we're going to fix that by doing some sucky sucky on this first septic tank. There we go. 12... 1200? Is that how much we usually get? I feel like it I feel like it's more than that. Maybe not. Maybe not. We can compare with the Good, I'm glad that that's happened. Uh, we can compare with the next two locations as well. It is quite a bit tricky backing into this spot. Tell you that for sure. See if there's even a person here. I'm fairly certain that we had three to do. Yep, got a guy right there. Perfect. We'll get right after it for you, sir. No? This guy gave us 1,200 marks as well, so I guess that is the the regular price, or the, nor the normal rate, you know? That's so weird. I remember it being so much more for some reason. Also, he looks really, really familiar. Like him and the guy just up the road, y'all must be twins, must be brothers or something. We're gonna make a quick pit stop over here. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna pull off the side of the road. Do not tip over. Okay, this is maybe a bad parking spot, but it's, it's probably a heck of a lot easier getting out of here than it would be 
getting out of the drunk dude's former residence. I'm just really, really thirsty, so we're making a quick pit stop, grab a drink. And I know you guys have seen the uh, the septic tank job hundreds of times, but you know we got to kill some time, and it gives us something to do, so we might as well. Wait a minute. Oh, what in the heck is happening right now? I'm getting like sucked into that house or something, dude. That was really, really scary. Okay, I need to hop out. This might not even be the house. Well, there should be someone chilling here, but it doesn't look like anyone's home. I know this thing's full though. Oh, not quite yet, I guess. I could have swore I had this location on our map back at home. Also, there's a well here, so we didn't even need to stop at Drunk Man's former residence. But let's make our way now back into town. <laughs> Instead of parking the poop truck where it doesn't belong again, I'm gonna leave it out at the waste treatment facility and we'll just walk back to the van. Now that we've spent nearly an entire day just working, doing our, our poop truck thing, I wanna stop in at Quavo's to see maybe, maybe he's got some parts delivered for us. And he does. Oh my goodness. Okay, only 4,100 bucks. That's actually much cheaper than I was expecting. Thank you so much, my man. We'll head around to the side and start loading these things up, dude. Well, let's see what's in box number one. The leopard print seat cover, love that. Very, very dope. Then we've got our left and right subwoofer. Also the amplifier. Next box right over here. This is gonna be the dash cover. Also leopard print, of course. That's what Suski wants. That's what she likes the most. We've got some window tint. Chuck that in there. Next up, this is going to be the CD player. So we have a radio a little bit, actually probably exactly like that one there in the Satsuma. So we just need to get that taken out and, and swapped out for the CD player. And then this is the wheel cover. Um, oh, dude, we're actually going to have to switch steering wheels, I'm, I'm fairly certain, to just the, the OEM one. Actually, let's get this... Let's get this shut off. Unsurprisingly, now that we've finished the poop truck job, I have to use the restroom IRL again. So we're gonna save and we'll come right back. My curiosity's really got the best of me right now. I wanna stop by the drunk man's house just so we can make sure that he is actually here. Dude, what the, what happened? Honestly, where have you been? I've been worried sick. Not because I like genuinely care about your health or anything, but you're kind of the only guy in town that will buy our kill you. So what's the deal anyways? Your party go on a little too long? I saw you laying in your in your bathroom when we stopped by. Maybe have to go to the hospital to get your stomach pumped? I need answers, drunk man. Okay, at least he, at least he likes the, the kill you again. So we'll load his table up and we'll head on out of here. I accidentally gave him an empty somehow. I'm not really even sure how that would have ended up in the van in the first place, but we've got 3,400 marks here. So I must have been getting the prices mixed up between the poop truck job and the keel you job. I really wanna make a quick pit stop over here at the pub just so we can maybe get a little bit of grub, get some food in our, in our belly, but I'm fairly certain that that guy is still here who wants to like clap our cheeks? Oh no, we're good. He's nowhere to be found. Okay, and then you should offer some food, right? Just sausage with some fries. Can you, can you grab that for me? Excellent. It is, it's so loud in here from the music. I'm terribly, terribly sorry about that, you guys. I just kind of want to watch. Quavo do his thing back here. Look at him. What a legend. What a legend you are, sir. We can smoke in here, right? 
Yeah, that dude's that dude's got a cig in his mouth. Can't tell if it's lit or not, but should be fine. Quavo would tell us if, if this was a problem. Ooh. This is a good jam. This is a very, very good jam. Look at the noodle arms over here. What is going on, you guys? Quavo sure takes his sweet time preparing the sausage and fries. You about done there, bud? Looks like it. Dude, I cannot wait. My mouth is watering. I'm ready for it. And then, do we need to just pay you at the at the register? How do we how do we do this? Can I just take it? Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna eat it over here. All right, don't mind me. There we go. Do do you need the empties? Probably. You seem like a guy who likes to likes to recycle. Why can I not why can I not pay you, Quavo? Well, I'm fairly certain that we maybe paid for it when you first went and made the thing. So I'm just going to I'm just going to skedaddle now. See you later. Please don't hunt me down for $25. That would really really suck. Uh, last thing we need to do before we head over to the junkyard and pick up our empties, we need to go over to that yellow house with the well so we can get a drink before we die of dehydration. Home sweet home, finally, you guys. I took one of the dirt road turns like way too fast, and then shortly after, almost didn't hear the train in time to, to slow down, and I'm stuttering because I didn't realize how dark it is, dude. I couldn't even see the handle for our door. Anyways, the last thing that we need to do today is just head to bed so that in the morning, we can start adding the finishing touches to the Satsuma. The next morning. Now that we've got all the empties set aside, we're ready to start modifying the Satsuma once again. So this is going to be the seat cover. Oh, do I need to get two of these? Okay, no. They're sold as a set. That's good. I honestly had a little bit of an internal freak out just then. But everything is A-OK. -okay. Now we've got the dash cover. That's going to go right there. Oh my god, dude. It's so cool. It is so cool looking. And then this is what I was a little confused about. I'm fairly certain that we're going to need to swap steering wheels. Yeah, it doesn't look like that's going to fit over top of that. So it was like an 11 or a 12 mil or something. We'll just zip that one off and uh, swap it out for the OEM one again. P pick up the... Oh my... This game. This game, you guys. I tell you what. This one really is quite a bit uglier than the one we just took out, but... Now we've got the trifecta, the dash cover, steering wheel, and the seats. Let's try installing the window tint next. If I remember right, we just go around. Oh no, we don't have to go around to each window. And that is pitch black. It looks more like a, like a panel van now, like this with the, the covering just over the window. That is insanely dark. I actually don't remember doing that in my modded playthrough. But, I mean, if that's what Suski wants, I'm assuming we did it then as well. Let's get the subs tossed out of here, as well as the amp. And then the CD players. I want to try to figure out, before we do the subs and the amp, I want to try to figure out how we actually remove the radio. Peek our head in here. Oh, there we go. I think the wiring for this should all be the same. But we're swapping out our, our AM, FM radio for one that has a CD player integrated. And that should be, let me just make sure behind, that should be all we needed to do. Yeah, there's three plugs right there all going into the back of the radio. So that should be finished. Let's come back into the garage. For the subs, we're actually gonna need this big panel, but I don't love the wood texture of it. It's, it's basically just a small sheet of plywood that we've cut a few circles into. So let's just try to spray it black. I, feel like that's probably going to look the best. The old one's kind of covered in what looks like a fabric, I guess. I really prefer the look of that one. I, I'd much rather have it have some sort of a texture rather than just being flat black like this. But we'll get that installed. And then I think we should just be able to pop the trunk and we'll be able to slide the, slide the subs in there. I did not need the tow rope. Thank you very much. Wait a minute. What? We didn't use all of it? I sort of just assumed that that thing disappeared after you used it on the windows, but apparently not. So this guy is going to go right up there. 
This one just over here. There it goes. And then those all should have the wiring completed already. I ran that like a long, a long time ago. Now I need to try to remember where the amp actually sits at. It doesn't mount under there, does it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's like, it's like right behind the seats here. Yeah, like, like right here. All right, so we've got our amp, we've got our subs. We've got the, uh, the base plate dealio in there that the subs actually need to sit on. So then let's... Let's turn this puppy to accessory mode just so we can at least test it. Actually, let's not do that. I don't want to drain the battery. We'll turn it over all the way. My alternator is maybe going bad, as some of you suggested. I should probably change that at some point, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. We don't have a ton of brewskis for our big date with Suski, so I'm just going to bring along an extra bottle of this fish vodka stuff. I also take back the comment I made about our alternator maybe failing. As you can tell by this gauge, it obviously has charged the battery up again. So I have no idea what's going on with that. But again, we're not really going to worry about that today. Let's figure out. Okay, so that's just volume. How to use this radio. Just quick scan through all the different stations. There's only two of them? Really? But ladies and gentlemen, it is time for us to make our way back into town once again, this time behind the wheel of a very, very cool looking Satsuma. I really hope I'm not forgetting anything, but I'm gonna head behind Quavo's really quick just so we can, you know, have a good spot to save in case I screw something up, which I probably will. Well, I was all excited for our nice little date with Suski, but somebody decided not to show up. She can spawn one of two places, out front of Quavo's or out front of her house, which is right over there. Unfortunately, she has decided not to spawn at either location, and judging by the forum, uh, some other people have been having issues with that as well. And most people have said, if you just head down the road to the drag strip, sort of hang out there, maybe even save there, and then head back into town, she should show up. So I'm gonna try that, and hopefully it works. Come on, Suski, please don't make this a three hour recording. Two and a half is just fine. There she is. Okay, so if you guys are having a similar issue, that technique, did you just walk through the vehicle? That technique does seem to work, so that's good. Hey, how's it going? Good to see ya. Um, I'm gonna give you this, and you can just hang on to those, okay? Let's also maybe get the radio going as well. Lean in here real quick. Uh, did you know they invented... Wait, did you know they invented shower right? All the guys are such hicks in this town full of rednecks. Um, oh wait, do you not... You don't like that I'm smelly. Okay, hang on. Hang on, I can... I can fix this? Our radio kind of sounds like balls. If I'm being honest, maybe I, maybe I didn't hook something up right. I'm not sure. Okay, so she doesn't like the way that we smell. Um, I'm gonna head down here really quick, and we're just gonna rip the e-brake. Hang tight, Suski. Hang tight for me, girl. We gotta head over here, grab a little drink from the well, and then I'll just make a quick little pit stop down to the lake, and we can wash off really quick. I completely forgot that she doesn't like smelly rednecks. All right, Suski. No, 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 I'm done, I'm done. I just finished, I just finished, please, please. Not like this. So it turns out she is gonna make this a three hour re Did you guys see that? Kazo is bugging, dude. And now he's just driving underwater. Something is seriously, seriously wrong with this game. 
I decided to head all the way to Fleetari's this time instead of the drag strip because I'm fairly certain that we forgot to tighten some bolts on the amp and that's why it sounds like absolute balls. So I decided to come here rather than going all the way home because his tools are way easier to access than ours. It would have just taken us longer to drive back home. So unfortunately we can't bring this with us unlike our tools so I'm just gonna have to guess and I'm gonna go with a six. It's a five. They're both a five, of course. Like literally the last one that I tried. But that, that didn't seem to fix the issue. Maybe there are some more bolts on the, on the subs or something. I'm not seeing anything on either one of those. But you guys hear that static, right? It, it, sounds, it sounds awful. So we're just gonna leave this off for right now and we'll go see if Suski is finally ready. Well, she's not at Quavo's this time, please. Be right around the corner, there she is. We are very, very quickly approaching the three hour mark for this recording today, you guys. So it's a good thing she showed up. Uh, Suski? Do I need to like pull in your driveway potentially? Okay, you didn't see that. I did not kill my car in front of you. That 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 did not happen just now. You saw absolutely nothing. Let's pull right up over here and she's going to walk straight through the vehicle again. Good. I'm glad you're still doing that. Hopefully I'm less smelly this time around. Uh, there are your brewskis. You can go ahead and nope, let's close that door. Uh, you can go ahead and grab one of those. We'll just leave it right there. I'm sure she'll probably grab it if she if she wants some. Maybe once we actually like start driving around. We'll just cruise in second gear here and try to readjust that thing. Suski, I really need you to grab one of those brewskis so we can like get this show on the road. Alright? Yeah, Finally. Finally. Okay, and now that you've done that, I need to pull over again so I can get resituated here. I just I just kind of jumped in the driver's seats and unfortunately she's decided to turn the radio on again. So we'll just have to put up with a little bit of static. I don't remember she she has a speed limit that she likes to stay under, but I don't remember what it is. So I'm just going to drive around aimlessly until she gives me a destination. It'll either be the ski hill. That's what happened in the previous playthrough that I did. Um, either that or the dance pavilion. I'm kind of I'm kind of hoping for the dance pavilion just so it can be a little bit different from the first time around. Many many minutes later. She speaks. She speaks and Oh, what the heck's going on with the bus? Everything good? Everything's good. Okay, I just got rear-ended. I think what the heck even happened just then, dude? That was so weird. Uh, but apparently she gives us the option to go to either the ski hill or the dance pavilion. So since we're already way past the ski hill, we'll just make our way out to the pavilion. Normally I would have normally I would have left that drive in, but she didn't say really anything the entire time. Actually, she said nothing the entire time. So I'm just gonna park somewhere where we can have a nice view of the lake. Right here looks pretty good, and I wasn't paying attention to whatever it is that you just said. But if I remember correctly, we're just yeah, we're just supposed to drink a whole lot. So we'll reach down here, see if we can't grab that booze bottle. There we go, and we're gonna pow it up, pow it up, dude. I already have to pee, and the drinking sound effects are not helping. Also, this, me continuing to drink water doesn't help either, but the mouth is dry, y'all. Let's grab maybe one of them brewskis, just for good measure. The goal is to pass out. She wants us to pass out. And if we don't, uh, we're gonna be that name that she called us. Perhaps one more? Hey, I'm getting real loopy. Like, I'm I'm looking sideways right now. I, I can barely keep my head up. Ah, one more. Couldn't hurt, right? We're in we're in too deep, dude. I should have I should have grabbed more of those booze bottles or something. I'm gonna have to clean out this entire 
rest of the case. My head is swaying so much that it's it's honestly difficult for me to even grab another one. Okay, she's on to her next sentence. That's a good sign. I can't understand why people that are willing to read stupid books all day long. Girl, I am trying. She just keeps calling me names. I, I can't see... I can't see the beer case. It's an actual problem. How many more, Suski? How many more? Oh, okay. I think it's happening. Yep. Here we go. Waking up behind our, like, back patio area. Somehow. Oh. Yeah, it feels like... Feels like my ears are, like, ringing or something. It's kind of it's kind of bizarre. I also need to pee really really bad, so I might as well might as well do that and then we're going to have to try to head to bed. I think that's the the next step here. Unfortunately, our fatigue isn't near high enough for us to be able to sleep right now, so I've just got to stare at this thing jittering in front of my face just for a few minutes and then we should be good. As if that's not bad enough, now we have to hop on the Joe Bro over here so we can try to go retrieve the Satsuma. remember like she's not still in the vehicle right also the car has been shifting the entire time that it's been sat here i don't remember ripping the e-brake she's not still in here okay good 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 i just i did not want to take her home also the vehicle's still running so that's nice um it won't be until the next episode that she'll call us up with some big news. But tell you guys the truth, I do think that's where we're gonna wind things down at for today. Once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.